Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in the kitchen and I'd like to share with you just a few quick updates. Today is Tuesday, May 14th. I have a sister with a birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday a day early. And a um, couple of quick things. So I didn't really think about it when I posted my video yesterday, but I wanted to update you on how I've been doing with my uh, one habit challenge for May and so for me that was trying to make sure I leave the house clean and picked up especially the kitchen each day or if I'm staying home to make sure that's done first thing so um, as you know we had the fire last week if you're new to my channel go check out that video from yesterday and I kind of explain more of that but um, I've kept up with that pretty much every day except like the last the th two or three days right after the fire um, actually it was the weekend so that Thursday I did it that Friday I did it and then on the weekend we kind of just got into my daughter was home and we just got into like breakfast and doing stuff and it was sort of one project led to another and I never quite got it all cleaned up but well sorry that was my sink <laughs> or my faucet but anyway so today's Tuesday I've done it um, Sunday Monday Tuesday I did it so far this week and just did a quick round picking everything up now. Um, also, my other thing that I was trying to do was the Fly Ladies monthly habit. So for her, the month of May, the habit you're working on is moving. So more exercise and just moving your body more. So I took a few days off doing the 7 app, which is like a seven minute, I think it's called HIT High Intensity Interval Training. Um, it's just a free app I use. I'll try to link it below if I think of it. Um, so I, I did take, I think Friday, Saturday off, but then Sunday I was just feeling like, okay, it's time to get back to it. And so I did my seven app Sunday night, Monday night. Um, and today, Tuesday, I'm going to walk to work. So I work one of my jobs. I work here in our little town and it's only maybe a quarter of a mile, but it's very hilly. So I'll do that and then walk home again this afternoon and then do my seven app probably later this evening. I try to do it in the morning, but it seems like inevitably I run out of time and or I don't make time. And But I do at least then get it in in the evening. So that's been going well and it feels good to be doing it. And as I mentioned, I do on the 7 app that I have, there's a standard one that's free that you can use every day that's the same. And then every day there's a free one that is different because they have a paid version where you get access to all these other workouts and different things. But I like to look for whatever that free trial one is for the day because it's something different. I just like variety. So yesterday it was a flamingo <laughs> workout. So it was all things that were on one leg. So that was pretty fun. Um, okay, and then I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Mrs. Dunwoody um, book that I mentioned. So if, if you've been following along, along also in May, um, we're doing this Mrs. Dunwoody's in, uh, Excellent Instructions for Homekeeping. So I've been working on reading this slowly. I'm a slow reader just because I run out of time. But um, one of the things that she has, which I liked, and again, it's just a nice... Um, refresher for me it's a lot of the same things as a fly lady but just a little bit different approach so she talks about having a domestic calendar and that includes daily cleaning chores day of the week chores weekly cleaning chores and fall and spring cleaning now some of that's contradictory to the fly lady for one she doesn't like to call them chores she calls them blessings which I think is great uh, for two, she does not do fall and spring cleaning. She does zone cleaning. So she says you never have to do your, your fall and spring cleaning, which I kind of like that approach too. Although I do find in the spring especially, sometimes you just sort of get that urge, at least I do, of like, I just want to kind of get the house in order. So I just look at it as doing a little extra zone cleaning that month or that time frame. Um, the biggest thing that I liked was that um, the day of the week chores, it kind of is what I've been doing anyway. And the fly lady does talk about it a little bit. Um, like she has her, what is it? This, the fly lady calendar for, there's a task you do each day of the week. So Monday is your weekly home blessing. Tuesday is plan and play. Wednesday is anti-procrastination day, which I love. 
Uh, Thursday is errand day, Friday is date night, and clean out your car and purse. Um, Saturday is family fun day, and then Sunday is renew your spirit. So I think those are really good. That's, I think, a more up-to-date version of, you know, the idea. Um, and then Mrs. Dunwoody, her example, so I'll, I'll read these two just because I think they're cute. Um, so you do your washing on Monday, and keep in mind this book is written as if it was someone in the 1800s, late 1800s, so their daily tasks are going to be different from ours, but I think it's nice to kind of get the perspective. So washing on Monday, ironing on Tuesday, sewing on Wednesday, marketing on Thursday, meaning errands, or shopping for your food, cleaning on Friday, baking on Saturday, and then rest on Sunday. So what I tend to do is um, I have, a, in my mind, I have that there's certain tasks I'm gonna try and do about once a week, and I try to do them sometimes on the same day each week, but my schedule fluctuates so much that it don't, doesn't always happen that way. So typically I run my errands and do my grocery shopping either on Monday or Friday because those are the two days I tend to be in the larger town nearby where I can do that. Um, I tend to do, I do like having Wednesday as anti-procrastination day. It just seems to trigger like, oh yeah, I've been seeing that thing that needs to be done for several weeks. Let's get it done today. Um, one of the things I do with my weekly home blessing is I do sort of break that up into a couple of segments. So Sunday I take out our trash because it gets picked up Monday morning. I like to try to do our sheets on Monday. It's just something I started when my daughter was much younger and I was home all the time and it just made sense to start the week off with fresh clean sheets. So Monday is sheet washing day and then Tuesday because of my work schedule I'm almost always um, having this schedule during the school year where I take my daughter to school, I come back home for about an hour, then I go to work, and then I'm home for about an hour before I go pick her up. So I like to do um, my good cleaning swish and swipe of my master bath on Tuesday, and then I try to also wipe down the shower. We squeegee it every day, but I have a homemade spray of just vinegar, water and then my resistance essential oil spray from Jordan Essentials because that has a lot of antibacterial, antifungal, all that antimicrobial stuff in it. Um, so I'll spray that down in the shower and just actually wipe it all down really good which is nice because it shines up all the metal finishes. And then I put the towels and the rugs from our bathroom in the wash while I'm in there. And this morning I was just curious so I did it while I was brushing my teeth and it my toothbrush runs for two minutes. It's a uh, sonic toothbrush and it runs for two minutes so it only took about a minute to do that to put all of my towels and rugs in the wash and I even got the ones from the powder room and put those in too and then I set the delay on the washing machine so that it'll finish up um, about the time that I get home from work this afternoon so then when I get home this afternoon I throw those in the dryer and do a, a vacuum or sweep in our master bath and our two bedrooms, my bedroom and then my daughter's bedroom, and then uh, get the steam mop out and steam mop the bathroom, and usually about that time, then the dryer's done, and I can put the fresh towels out and clean rugs down, and it just feels really nice that now Tuesday, I've you know treated the house in that sense and gotten those blessings done and broken it up a little bit and I have definitely found that it helps a lot to do half of it in the morning because when I get home from work I'm tired and I really don't want to do anything except lay on the couch but that's not an option but um, when I come in and I remember that that washing machine's done it just seems like oh someone's already done half the work for me all I have to do are these last couple things and I can rally and have enough energy to get that done so that little mind trick has worked for me if you're having trouble maybe give something like that a try where you break it up into two parts and do part in the morning when you have more energy and then just finish it up at night um, and then I did also this morning do my zone dusting. So I switched the last uh, couple zones for the Fly Lady system. So I use zone three or week three for the master bedroom because I just like putting myself first before my daughter's bedroom. So her bedroom is zone four. 
and then I do our powder room or our guest bathroom then. Um, so anyway, today I dusted really well in the master bedroom and it only took me maybe a minute, minute and a half. And it just felt good when I was all done to look around and say, okay, all these surfaces have been just quick dust and they're looking better and it'll feel good tonight to come into the room knowing that everything is really in good shape. So, um, what else did I want to touch base with you about? So yeah, so the daily tasks, those are kind of my... Um, tweaks on it is that I have my zone or my uh, weekly home blessings sort of broken up into those three things and then I also like doing it at the beginning of the week because then by Wednesday I'm just starting to get more run down because <laughs> the week's going on you know by Thursday I'm real tired and I can't wait for Friday so it's nice to feel like all of those things are done at the beginning of the week and I can just sort of coast through the second half of the week and keep up with things um, oh, and I did, I, I tried to do one load of laundry a day, which is what the fly lady recommends. And my husband, my sweet husband got home yesterday from work and he threw a load of clothes in the wash. And then we put those in the dryer as we were getting ready for bed. So they did sit in the dryer overnight. I just turned it on real quick this morning and kind of fluffed them up and folded those and have all that put away. So that's my load of laundry done for the day. And, um, oops, what was the other thing? I think that's everything. So yeah, so just a little update on how things are going for me. I've been doing pretty good on my moving in May and um, definitely it helps me to keep in mind to get the kitchen cleaned up before I leave and it's so nice to come home and not walk into stuff cluttered around and things that I need to deal with and it's all done. Um, and I have noticed it's getting easier to do it. It's funny how, I don't know if you're like this, but I just, little things I can build up in my mind and they seem like this big project and it's overwhelming and I can't handle doing it so I just keep putting it off. Basic things like cleaning off the counter after breakfast but or at the end of the day when we've kind of all just set stuff here and there but the more I'm doing it and making it a habit this month the easier it's getting so I can kind of like see past the clutter and just go just grab all the dishes and then just grab all the paper and then just grab all the toys and you know before I know it it's only been a minute and a half and it's almost done I just have to wipe the counters down so that feels good also that that thing that was like a hiccup for me where I just couldn't quite get myself to do that every day is getting smoothed out and I can do that a little easier and um, feel like I'm accomplishing something as I start the day off and I think that's it for today. So thank you for joining me. If you have any questions or want to let me know how you're doing on your May One Habit Challenge, please leave it down below in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos and want to see more updates and more little tips and trip tricks. <laughs> tips and tricks from me, the fly lady, uh, Mrs. Dunwoody, all of it, and just encouraging each other to keep moving forward and making each day a little better in any way that you can. Um, I have my lovely flowers I picked yesterday. The irises are blooming out in the front yard, so that's nice to get those in and share the uh, color with the family. So have a great one, and I will see you soon. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.